Okay, I'm going to do a mail merge with data from an Excel spreadsheet. And here's the spreadsheet right here. And the first thing I have to do is just adjust the columns. And I've already done this a little bit. The column B, C. And all I'm going to put in here is my name. Oh, wait. The field names. The field name is going to be last name. Oops, got an extra. And then first name. And then email address. And then um, cell phone. And you notice the cell phone doesn't fit quite, so you can just drag up in the gray area. I can widen out the columns. Okay, so these are your field names right here. And Word will identify the field names in the first column. I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to put Gil here, uh, Bob, Bob at BobGill.com, and 605-222-4259. And then I'm going to go to a second data item. I'm going to put Severin and Joe, and he's Joe at Kelloland.com. So I'm just putting in the data here, 605, and you put in hundreds, as many data items as you want, 605-280-6194. Oops, I need a dash in there. And then I'm going to put in Shellcraft and Bill and Bill dot Shellcraft at state dot sd dot us six oh five dash two 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 dash forty five seventy eight. So I have three data items here, and you can put as many data items as you want. And you can add to them later on, too, and resave it, and it'll pull in the other data items. So here's my shell right here. And I'm going to do a save as. Now, when I save it, I have to remember where I put it. And where I'm going to put it, I'm going to go Browse, and I'm going to go to Dropbox, and it's going to go into CSC. I made a folder already before, and I screwed up, but it's going to go into CSC Mail Merge Data. And it's going to be called 2018 Excel Data. And I've already done this once before. So that's where it's, it's located. And I tried to find it, and I couldn't find it, so I had to start over. So the data is done. So now I'm going to pull up Microsoft Word. And I'm going to open up a document here. And all I have to do, instead of doing all of this stuff here and all that step-by-step, step, you just have to... The, the recipients are in a Excel spreadsheet, so all you got to do is go get that existing list. And the first time I forgot where it was, that's why I had to start over. But it's in Dropbox, CSC, 205, Merge Data, and here's the data. And it's in Sheet 1, and I just say, and it says, look at this here. First row of data contains column header, headings, and it does, so I just say OK. Now, it has linked up with that Excel spreadsheet. So all I have to do is I say, Dear Mr., and then I can insert the field name, last name, Dear Mr. Gill, comma. I notice that you have a new email address. The address in and and he, whoops, excuse me, a new email address. The address um, is is um, and now insert a field. Your current email address I hit enter there okay I did that so I wouldn't go outside of the thing um, I will call you at and see how it knows that Excel spreadsheet because I linked them up I will call you at cell phone to discuss this further and Joe uh, Joe uh, Buckner, whatever. 
Okay, so now when you preview the results right here, this will show you that it has been merged. I preview, dear Mr. Gill, is Bob Gill your current email address? I'll call you at this number. I go to recipient number two, Joe Severn. Is Joe at Kelloland your current email? I'll call you here. And three is going to be Bill Shellcraft. Is that your current email address? I'll call you at this number. So all of them are merged together. And it's so simple to just build this, the uh, spreadsheet, write the letter, use insert uh, merge fields. And then if you don't want to see the results, you just take it off and it goes back to this. Preview it, take it off. Preview it, take it off. And then you can finish and merge. Finishing and merge will send a individual letter to all three people. So, okay, I hope that made sense. I'm going to show you with an access database also, but this is using a Excel spreadsheet. Here's your data. I saved it. You just have to remember where you save the data. And then you go back to Word and you link up that data by going to mailings, select recipients, and use an existing list that we created. And it's an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, all right. I hope you give this a try. It's, it's really a lot of fun. All right, signing off.